Campaign polls are notoriously unreliable the greater the distance from the election, which means presidential campaign polls are in their notoriously unreliable stage and therefore largely ignorable. But there is something worth paying attention to right now. Not poll questions asking voters who they will vote for over a year from now, but actual votes cast by voters right now. That is what our next guest, Simon Rosenberg, is paying attention to. Simon Rosenberg was the only polling analyst who I paid any attention to during the last congressional elections when virtually everyone, except Simon Rosenberg, was predicting a so-called red wave for Republicans in the House and Senate elections. Republicans were going to win the United States Senate and win the House by big majorities. In fact, the Democrats added to their majority in the Senate, and Republicans were only able to squeak out a tiny majority in the House, which has left them dysfunctional as the governing party of the House of Representatives because their majority is so tiny, so that a group of Republican members can currently hold the Republican speaker and legislation hostage. Simon Rosenberg is now paying close attention to actual votes cast by actual voters in important places that can be indicators of what might happen in those important places next year. Simon Rosenberg has analyzed 25 special elections this year and shows that Democrats are outperforming their winning year of 2020, when Joe Biden was elected, by an average of eight points in those 25 special elections. Importantly, last night in New Hampshire, Democrat Hal Rafter defeated Republican James Gazowski 56 to 44 in a special election to fill a Republican held seat in the New Hampshire legislature. Donald Trump won that district both times he ran for president in 2016 and 2020. It was a Trump district until last night when the Democrat won by 12 points. There is another special election scheduled for November in New Hampshire, and if the Democrats win that seat, the New Hampshire House of Representatives then will be tied uh, at 198 Democrats, 198 Republicans. Joining us now is Simon Rosenberg, a Democratic strategist and author of Hopium Chronicles on Substack. Uh, Simon, uh, speak to me uh, as, for what mm. I am, which is someone who's been completely ignoring any <laughs> coverage of the presidential campaign, because I know what the Democratic ticket is going to be. It's going to be the Biden-Harris ticket. I know the Republican side sometime next year will come down to two lying clowns, one yeah. of whom will end up as the nominee. Uh, and until they get down to the two lying clowns, I won't have I won't be much interested in the Republican side. What should we know right now? Well, first of all, you're smart in the way you're approaching this, Lawrence. No big surprise. Um, but what you said in the beginning is really important. I mean, part of the reason I was able, along with my colleague Tom Bonnier, to get the election uh, right in 2022 was that we were looking at data beyond polling. And one of the most important bits of data we were looking at is what was happening in special elections after Dobbs. And we saw huge heightened Democratic performance in those special elections all across the country. We also saw then heightened Democratic performance in voter registration, in fundraising, and then ultimately in the early vote and on Election Day itself. So we learned last cycle that this overperformance in these special elections can be meaningful. And in this time, rather than five or six elections, we've had dozens of elections all across the country uh, in with, you know, mayor's races, state rep races, state senate races, all sorts of, and it's all pointing, the data's all pointing in the same direction, which is that Democrats are kicking ass and we're doing really good. And our candidates are raising a lot of money and things feel really good right now. I mean, as you pointed out in those 25 House specials and Senate specials, we're up by eight points over our 2020 performance in an election we won by four and a half points, you know. And so this has been uh, so far actual voting is very, very encouraging for the Democrats. Uh